So we want to solve this quadratic equation using the square root method. This is a little different than the last one in that the quadratic term is actually this whole quantity and not just x squared, but the steps are going to be pretty much exactly the same. So we need to isolate the quadratic term, so we get rid of this minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides. So we'll get 5 on the right side, and on the left side we'll just be left with the quadratic term. Now that we have that isolated, we can take the square root of both sides. And remember, anytime you take the square root, you've got to put your plus or minus sign in. Plus or minus square root of 5. So we have x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 5. Now we were done here on the last problem, but on this problem I still have this minus 3, so I need to add that to both sides. And now I'm going to take that plus 3, I'm going to sneak it in right before the plus or minus sign. So we get x equals... 3 plus or minus the square root of 5. So what does that mean? Well, it means that x could equal 3 plus the square root of 5, or x equals 3 minus the square root of 5. And if I wanted to see what those were as a decimal, I could plug them into my calculator to get an approximation. And that's using the square root method.